Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been dubbed the Duke and Duchess of Netflix. TV presenter Christo Fufus appeared on the To Die For Daily podcast and he and host Kinsey Schofield discuss Prince Harry and Markle's lifestyle. They've reduced themselves, unfortunately, to cheap reality stars. And that's what they are now. They're the Duke and Duchess of Netflix, he said in the podcast. When the news about the Sussexes docuseries made headlines, it raised eyebrows, with some even likening them to the Kardashians. The royalties are known to be private, so Prince Harry and Markle doing a docuseries surprised many especially because they already said they wouldn't do a reality show. However, the distinction between the reality show and their upcoming docuseries still confuses many. An unnamed source spoke with Life & Style magazine and said that doing a docuseries was not part of their plan. However, they're short on content and desperate times call for desperate measures. Schofield asked Fufus if he could see a way back for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex into the royal fold. He wasn't sure because, for him, it's a question of trust. It's been reported that Prince William refused to meet them because of a worry, and I think it's a valid worry, that any conversations they may have during the time together will end up in a podcast or in Harry's latest memoir. So I'm not sure if there's a way back, certainly in the eyes of their family, because there is a worry that that's going to end up being the next revelation that they'll try to monetize. And let's be clear, everything they now do is in the pursuit of monetizing it. They're monetizing everything. Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming Netflix docuseries includes some contradictions. Despite the show reportedly debuting on the streaming service in early December, several sources said there are still many conflicts. Reportedly, Netflix is playing hardball. They will not edit it with their staff or in any way finance the editing of it. This has been a real nightmare for them because in addition to the dumb duo being work shy, Meghan is a lunatic and it was all they could do to put together the dopey piece of shit that they have. Netflix could give it back to Harry and Meghan to have Archwell edit and reshoot to taste, but Archwell can't afford it. They just don't have the capital. So Netflix is trying to decide if they're just going to keep what they have and go forward, but somehow Harry and Meghan have some say in that. It's reported that lawyers are getting involved now on Netflix's end, and shit is getting ready to hit the fan. The thing is that Netflix isn't their only problem. Harry's book is also a problem and Penguin Random House are gearing up to pursue the matter if Harry insists on editing out inflammatory parts of the book. Most recently, sources claim that Netflix and the series filmmakers are confused after some of the comments that Harry made in his upcoming memoir contradict what he and Markle said on camera. A lot in the show contradicted what Harry has written, so that was an issue, a senior Netflix source reported. Then Harry and Meghan made significant requests to the filmmakers to walk back content they themselves have provided for their own project. Because of their deals, royal correspondent and commentator Neil Sean believed that Prince Harry and Markle wouldn't be welcomed back to the firm. Sean said that the Sussexes thought they were invincible and they allegedly thought the monarchy would not survive without them, but it did. The firm is reportedly encouraging other members to step up instead of having the Sussexes back. Harry and Meghan really felt that at some point they would have to return because they thinned down the monarchy, he continued. But they've decided not to re-invite Harry and Meghan back and it's other members of the British monarchy who are stepping forward and showing their mettle. 